Hello everyone, it's Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green and today we are going to be going through the third part of our skincare face-off series. We have talked about oil cleansers, we talked about gel, foaming cleansers, and today we are going to be talking about cream cleansers. I will post the two previous face-off videos I have done in the comments down below if you haven't been following along. But this is a little series going through each category step in our skincare, starting with cleansers and then we'll end with face oils. So it's going to be a seven part series. And then I'm thinking I'm going to have to do an exfoliant and SPF video maybe sometime in the summer. But that's going to be farther in the future. So um, let's go ahead and talk about cream cleansers today. As a reference, I do have oily combination skin type. So my experiences with these products might not be the same with you. For the longest time, I've only used gel cleansers because, you know, you have oily skin, you use a gel cleanser. But I'm finding that as I get a little bit older, those needs are starting to change where I need a little bit more of a hydrating product. So that's why I gravitated towards um, cream cleansers. I have six products in front of me to talk about today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first product that I have here is the Pi Camellia and Rose Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. This is the product that started it all for me. I remember getting this in a set with their Bioregenerate Rosehip Oil whenever Credo had their friends and family sale in November 2017. They do sell this in two sizes, the 100ml, which is this one, in a airless pump. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this type of packaging because you just don't know when you're gonna run out. I've used this cleanser in this type of packaging and also the Mad Hippie moisturizer is in that type of packaging and you just don't know when you're gonna run out. That's kind of the negative um, part about the airless pump packaging but the huge plus of course is the product doesn't come in contact with air so it preserves the product for a lot longer. It also comes in a 200 ml and this is um, where it kind of doesn't make sense to me. The 200 ml, which is twice as much product as this, it comes in a squeeze tube. You would think that they would want the 200 ml in a packaging like this because you have more product. You want to preserve it for longer because you have more product and it'll take you twice as long to go through it. But I don't know what's up with that. But the 100 ml, this size right here is $50 and the 200 ml is $70. So I think that's a better value because you get twice as much for 20, just 20 more dollars. And I am looking through here at the Credo website. They say that this is a gentle cream facial cleanser. It's good for normal combination, dry and sensitive skin types. But like I said, I have oily skin and I find this worked perfectly for me. They say that it is bursting with omega-3 and vitamins A, B, and E and works to remove dirt, makeup, and other impurities that build up on your skin throughout the day. When this natural Cleanser is paired with an exfoliating muslin cloth. Skin may appear smoother and complexion more even. The alcohol and detergent-free formula helps to maintain the skin's natural oil balance and is delicate enough to use as an eye makeup remover. So they talked about that muslin cloth. Every time you buy this, it does come with a muslin cloth. Whenever I discovered this, I wasn't really into oil cleansing yet, so I use this both as a makeup remover and as a second cleanse. So as a first cleanse, I would pump a couple of pumps onto my hands and apply it to my dry face. At first I thought I was, you know, rubbing this onto my face and it just feels like lotion. So I was afraid like, oh my gosh, is this just gonna sink into my skin and then I won't have anything to remove my makeup with anymore. But it does stay on top of the skin. Um, <laughs> but I didn't know that back in the day. Um, it does stay on top of the skin, and then I use the muslin cloth. It's double-sided. It's like terry cloth on one side and then the muslin on the other. And then so just depending on what kind of exfoliation you want, you can use either side of the washcloth. I always use the terry side because I thought it was a little bit more gentle. I use that cloth after I massage it onto my face to remove my makeup, and then I would do another pump to kind of do as a second cleanse, so that way I'm sure that every trace of my makeup is gone. So I love this so much. It is incredibly gentle. It's got a very gentle scent. I can't smell it anymore. It doesn't smell like rose. It smells more like chamomile. Let's go through the ingredients really fast. It has camellia, rose oil, it has water, castor seed oil, sweet almond oil, the cetereal alcohol. It's an emulsifier. 
that is coconut derived so it's a fatty alcohol it's not that type of alcohol that you have to worry about drying out your skin glycerin is a humectant so it's very hydrating it also has shea butter cetaryl glucoside i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but that's a corn derived emulsifier the sodium anisate is a type of a preservative the tocopherol, that's vitamin E, geranium oil, sodium levulinate, levulinate, I don't know how to say that. It's um, another preservative derived from corn. It has lavender oil, very calming for the skin. Lactic acid, they say that it, they put it in here to balance the pH or stabilize the pH. It has maichang oil. And then the last two ingredients, two emulsifiers, one derived from palm oil and the other from coconut oil. And I will have those just listed down here because I'm not going to try to pronounce them. And then three ingredients that are derived from essential oils that I'll have listed here also. But like I said, this was just a very gentle and hydrating cream cleanser that I absolutely loved. If you have sensitive skin, that's one thing that I notice about Pi just as a brand is they are very calming and excellent for sensitive skin. Their Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil is one of my holy grail oils and I'm actually almost out of it so I need to repurchase that. But this will have a special place in my heart because like I said this is the first product that started my love affair with cream cleansers. So the second cream cleanser that I have here is by Mad Hippie. They say that this mildly acidic cream cleanser is pH perfection, supporting the skin's natural balance of protective oils. Many overly alkaline cleansers strip the skin of, of the acid mantle, a protective layer of oils. Additional antioxidants and hydrating oils leave the skin soft and smooth while gently washing away dirt and impurities. This 4 ounce glass bottle with a pump is $15.99 on the Mad Hippie website, but I do pick this up from Vitacost because you can get it a lot che cheaper from there. So this here is my second bottle of this Mad Hippie cream cleanser. I used it the same way as I did the pie cream cleanser but I discovered this around the time where I discovered the emulsifying oil cleansers also so this is when I started using the cream cleanser as a morning cleanser or as a second cleanser I didn't rely on this too much to remove my makeup and also that was around the time that I realized that washing using a washcloth to remove my makeup was just really too much exfoliation to do on a semi-regular basis because I didn't wear makeup every day but using a washcloth to remove it whenever I did was just way too much for my skin. So some of the ingredients in here is deionized water, sesame oil, the caprylic capric triglyceride, it also has shea butter, it has uh, that emulsifier, the cetaryl glucoside, it has carrageenan to thicken it up, uh, vegetable glycerin is a humectant, it has the capryl hydroxamic acid that I pointed out to you guys in the beginning, it's a preservative, it has the sodium PCA which is a humectant, uh, it has green tea, awesome antioxidant, it has jojoba oil, squalane, and macadamia oil, it has yeast extract, glucosamine, HCL, vitamin E, sodium hyaluronate, algae extract, and orchi orchid extract, as well as titanium dioxide. And that is the full ingredients list that I have that they have listed on their website. And the scent of this is very prominent throughout throughout the whole entire line. I've tried this, their toner, the hydrating face mist, that's one of my favorites. It's very hydrating. I've also tried their vitamin C serum and their moisturizer. And the scent profile is pretty much identical throughout the whole line or everything that I've tried, the four products that I've tried. And nowhere in any of the ingredients list does it mention anything about the scent. I thought it might be like the orchid extract, but it's orchid extract is not an ingredient that is in each of those products. So I went ahead and messaged them and they told me that they do use a little bit of lemon and lime essential oils to um, add a little bit of the fragrance to the product but it doesn't smell anything like lime or lemon and why is it not in the ingredients list. My trust diminished a little bit after I got that answer from them. If, you ha if you've experienced this, smell it and then check out the ingredients list because something just doesn't add up to me so I'm gonna leave it at that. I am almost done with this one. This is my second bottle. Like I said, it's a good product. I just wish 
I know where that scent is coming from and I wish that they would disclose that. Because like I said, the lady that I was talking to that I emailed said that there's lime and lemon, but it's nowhere on the ingredients list, so I don't know. So the third product that I tried um, as far as cream cleansers is the Andalou Naturals Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk. I just have the sample size of this. They sell these little sample sizes on the Vitacost website. And I was really glad to have found this because whenever I purchased this, I was uh, using up my first bottle of this. And so I wasn't really needing another cream cleanser. I was just curious as to what else is out there. And I was glad that I only got that little sample size. This little sample size I think is like $1.72 on the Vitacost website. But the full size of this is comes in a 6 ounce plastic bottle with a pump and it sells for $13.99 and always way cheaper on the Vitacost website so if you're interested in checking it out um, I do suggest you go to Vitacost or even Pharmaca. Um, they say that it's formulated for dr dry or very dry skin and it is part of their age-defying line so if you have more mature skin this is supposed to be designed for you. I really like Andalou. I've tried their 1000 Roses line and I did a whole review of that and that's in a pink bottle and then they have the brightening line that's orange and then the purple is the age defying and then I think they have the blue, baby blue one that's coconut for hydration and I forget what else but they have a lot um, for different skin types and they're all color coded so the age defying one is purple. They say that this um, fruit stem cell complex resveratrol CoQ10 and skin friendly probiotics blended with apricot and borage oils gently loosen and remove makeup and impurities rinsing away dull surface cells without drying for a fresh glow and rejuvenated complexion. They suggest you use it AM and PM, apply to damp skin, gently massage and rinse clean. The ingredients are quite excellent. The first ingredient on the list is aloe leaf juice followed by water and then it has sunflower seed oil, vegetable glycerin, it has apricot kernel oil, the capric caprylic triglyceride, it has some lecithin, borage seed oil, their probiotic complex, it has fr the fruit stem cells and bioactive berry complex, as resveratrol, CoQ10, panthenol, sweet almond oil, the magnesium asorbyl phosphate, which is a form of vitamin C, it has coconut milk, allantoin tocopherol, um, hibiscus, it has apricot isolate, vanilla isolate, and orange peel oil. And then there's of course the emulsifiers, everything that they use to mix up the oil and the water together. Very similar to the Mad Hippie emulsifiers. So I wanted to love this because it has excellent ingredients and it is very affordable, but this just dried out my skin. I don't know what it was. This one and the next cleanser that I am going to be talking about next um, dried out my skin so badly. I use uh, almost all of this up to here. I have a tiny bit left, like right here. <laughs> so that's quite a bit of the product that I use because I was just in disbelief that this was drying out my skin. This was the only thing that I changed in my skincare routine. I would cleanse my face with this, follow it with my normal skincare routine, and around my mouth especially and on my cheek area, I felt like it was cracking and so dry and it hurt when I would open my mouth. And so I would stop using this and then start using this again and it will go away. So I was like, all right, my skin is fine. And then I would use this again and the same thing would happen. Just that dryness and that tightness that I couldn't put my finger on because like I said, just looking at the ingredients, it was it's perfect, right? So just this as a whole, I think my skin did not agree with, but sometimes ju that just happens. It looks perfect on paper, but the skin just does not like it, and we have to listen to the skin. But if you read the reviews of the from the Andalou Naturals, um, the cream cleanser, it has a lot of positive reviews and people tell saying that it's so hydrating for their skin and everything, but it was not for me. But And like I said, you know, everyone's skin is so different and we all react to different products differently. So the third cleanser that I have here, I actually won it in a giveaway. And one of the products that um, came in that bag is the Sanitas Lemon Cream Cleanser. And this is just the 1.7 ounce bottle of it, so it's like a deluxe sample. And I really like it because it's plastic and it has a cap and it has a very nice 
pump because you know how I feel about pumps. This is available for purchase for in a 5 ounce bottle for $31.99 in the pharma, on the Pharmaca website. They say that it removes surface debris without stripping or dehydrating the skin. A citrus infused blend of antioxidant helps detoxify, promote skin renewal, and maintain skin balance. Complexion is left smoother, brighter, and softer. And they do recommend this for someone with normal skin and I really like that they have that on there so there's no guessing. Um, which product is right for your skin type. As far as the ingredients, the first ingredient is water followed by desyl glucoside. It has jojoba seed oil, lemon peel oil, a bunch of other butters like kapuwaku butter, murumuru, hyaluronic, it has a hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, vitamin C, in the form of tetrahexyl desyl asorbate, <laughs> and phospholipids, it has sandalwood extract, philodendron bark extract, it has glycerin, barley, and then comes the polysorbate 80, which is a preservative that I'm honestly not comfortable with using. It has palm alcohol, lecithin, lactic acid, ethyl glycerin, methyl propanediol, and then that capral hydroxamic acid. So just reading through that ingredient, I don't think this would have been one that I would have picked up for myself. And the desoglucoside being the second ingredient on the ingredients list. But like I said, I want this in the giveaway. Nowhere in the uh, bottle does it mention any of the ingredients. So I just went ahead and started using this and my experience with this is very similar to the Andalou Naturals cream cleanser. So I've used about that much of it. So it didn't take me too long to realize that this was the culprit. Yeah, another cream cleanser that's supposed to be hydrating um, that was not very hydrating for my skin. If you recall in my gel cleanser face off video, one of the gel cleansers that absolutely stripped my skin was the Modicum Skincare. I think it's just the essential cleanser. Um, but the ingredients in that is water and then followed by the desyl glucoside is the second ingredient, which is the surfactant that they use. And I think my skin might not like the desyl glucoside in both of those formulations. I know that I have had desyl glucosides in a, a lot of my other cleansers, but not so high up in the ingredients list. So maybe it's just using too much of the surfactant and my skin doesn't like it. So that was a no-go for me. So moving on to our next product, I have the Avalon Organics Wrinkle Therapy with CoQ10 and Rosehip Cleansing Milk. That's what the packaging looks like. It's, a, it's just a plastic bottle with a pump, so yay for pumps. This bottle here has 8.5 fluid ounces of product and, are you ready for this, it's $12.99 and Right now on Vitacost, it's $8.59 for the 8.5 ounces of product. This came into my radar because my beautiful friend Wendy uh, reviewed this on her channel. I'll make sure to leave that down below. Um, and she just gave this such marvelous reviews and actually compared it to... Oh gosh, I don't remember the brand, but it looks the bottle looks similar to this. Um, but it's a very high-end brand and she compared it to that. So I thought I needed to get my hands on this because, like I said, she gave it such marvelous reviews. As far as what they have to say about it, they say that this cleansing milk contains soap-free botanical cleansers that gently lift away grime without drying or stripping the skin. It's a wrinkle-fighting ensemble of coenzyme Q10, rosehip, and hyaluronic acid. And it energizes the skin and replenishes it to counteract the visible signs of aging. And then as far as the ingredients go, um, the first ingredient is aloe followed by water. It has glycerin, that caprylic capric triglyceride, the sunflower oil, borage, shea butter, sweet almond oil, rosehip seed oil. It has arnica, camellia leaf extract. It has chamomile. Um, and also licorice, lavender stem cell extract, it has olive leaf extract, it has willow bark, uh, vitamin E, ribose, sodium hyaluronate, sorbitol, ubiquinone, which is the CoQ10, xanthan gum, alcohol, um, benzyl alcohol, potassium hydroxide, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate is what is used to preserve this. Also the glycerol stearate and the stearic acid, which is like um, the emulsifiers that I've mentioned in a lot of these products. They do use preservatives obviously, but they're preservatives that I am okay with. So like I said, I heard about this first from Wendy and 
I already knew that I loved the Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser, so I wanted to com compare both of these. So as soon as I got this, I put a pump or a half a pump on my one hand and then half a pump of this on my other and then kind of just use them both. Half of my face with the Mad Hippie and the other half with the, the Avalon Organics um, cream cle or cleansing milk. And one of the first things that I uh, noticed whenever I did that was the scent. This has a much gentler scent than the Mad Hippie and I talked to you about the scent of this but this just has a very gentle kind of a botanical like a very clean a little bit rosy a little bit floral not as synthetic because this has some kind of a it smells very synthetic to me whereas this it does smell like the ingredients like looking at the ingredients and like and then smelling this it matches you know so I really like the scent of this and that it's very hydrating and moisturizing it doesn't strip the skin I use it as an AM cleanser and I absolutely love it I did swatch their um, serum and I think it's their day cream on my hand whenever I went to sprouts and I think that's the next two products that I'm gonna get from this line because I really do like this also they have a toner that I want to check out also so thank you Wendy for um, recommending this and I absolutely love it the final product that we have here, the newest in my collection, is the Hanua Skincare Pakai Cleansing Cream. This does come in a glass bottle and it comes in two sizes. She sells it in a 2 ounce bottle for $24 and the 4 ounce bottle that I have here is for $42. I did purchase this though through the Perlusk subscription box so I got it for a lot less. They say that this um, cleansing Hawaiian salt and antioxidant rich hibiscus combine to create a gentle daily cleanser that will leave the skin feeling soft, smooth, and hydrated. It has seaweed extract that work to strengthen and renew the skin while accelerating natural re skin repair process. Our Pakai cleansing cream is great for all skin types, including yours. And then as far as the ingredients go, it has the pure vitalized and coconut water. It has rose hydrosol, witch hazel water, wild harvested seaweed extract, hibiscus CO2, which is rich in alpha hydroxy acid. It has the Hanua Pa'akai or the Hanua um, Hawaiian salt, which is how it got its name because the Hawaiian salt, I guess they call it Pa'akai. Um, and then it also has an herbal oil infusion of rose petals, lavender, chamomile flowers, calendula blossoms, comfrey leaf and root, and rose hip seeds in the high oleic safflower and sesame oils. The surfactant that they use is sorbitan olivate, which is um, derived from olives, and it's farther down in the, in the ingredients list. Um, it has aloe vera gel, coconut glycerin, it has lecithin, Gromwell root CO2, sage and rosemary on antioxidants. It has the lactobacillus, coconut fruit extract, and sodium anisate that they use to preserve the product. So it has this beautiful pink color from all of the ingredients in there. I'm sure the rose petals and the hibiscus contribute to the pink color. I have been reaching for this non-stop every single morning ever since I got this. And then the Mad Hippie, I'm just trying to use up. I've been using this um, to shave my legs. So this lives in my shower and I use it to shave my legs just to finish it. And then I've been reaching for this every morning. I absolutely love it. At first I thought that the um, witch hazel water um, will be too drying for my skin to use every day, but it has not stripped my skin. It's actually kind of um, rebalanced my skin I think when I use this in the morning it just leaves my skin very moisturized and it feels so hydrated and then I just follow it with my regular morning skincare routine and then it has that hibiscus CO2 in there that I said is um, source of alpha hydroxy acid and even though I've been using this every morning I don't feel like it's too much exfoliation that happens in my skin I have used this as a mask also with the Hawaiian beauty water and it's just so hydrating and so beautiful. So looking at all of these products here, what I would recommend, let's see, if you have very sensitive skin, I would recommend the pie because it, because it is just very simple ingredients that just work. The Pakai also is very gentle, but if you don't think that you want the AHA for every day, then go for, with the pie. And then if you want something that is more budget friendly, um, go for the Avalon Organics um, cleansing milk because this is so good also. 
So I think that completes our video. I think I've said everything I wanted to say more than once. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the series so far, if you want me to change anything about the setup. But if some of you have some questions that I might not be answering in the videos, um, leave it on the comments down below and I'll try to address them in the future videos. 